Commissioners, Carol Mosley, 10121 Southwest 104th Avenue in Graham. Um, since this hearing is not actually about a telecommunications tower for Comores, but about a new plan for mining, I'll focus on the reasons it's premature for you to be deciding this issue at all. I noticed there was no slide up there showing the consent order and the DEP violations that they are uh, being forced to, to fix. You should deny the application until such time as Comores has satisfied the DEP that all previous violations have been remedied, and until Comores has at least submitted a draft application to the DEP so that they can ask the first round of questions. You need a review of this complex plan for mining, and the DEP is the agency that can provide an initial review, not you. That's where you went wrong with HPS. You hired the first consult, the only consultant who submitted a proposal, and then HPS quit bothering with the DEP once they had your consultants to work with them on their plans. That's not your job to help companies th get through the agencies. You work for the citizens, don't forget that. You definitely should require a performance bond in case of new violations if you pass this, this uh, proposal. What options do you have to perform the due diligence uh, expected of you? You have the promotional materials and plans of the applicant. You have their past performance to guide you. You have citizen input. You have the other agencies, such as the DEP, to help guide you. Or you can get outside consultants to help you be more informed. You can even do as I do and under, undertake your own extensive research. All of this takes time, but instead you're trying to rush this through. It makes me wonder why. On July 1, Commissioner Doherty starts out saying, I think that as far as the acceptance and consideration of anything new, until we get those uh, LDR comments back, I think we should just keep it without further applicants coming in until we can get the language the way we want it forward. So that would include existing applicants that we currently have that are looking to expand their op operations. Chairman Duran says, I think if we've got someone in our area that's already in the mining process, we've already given them permits in the past, were they to apply, I think we should look at that, look at it under the existing rules. Now, if it were a new company come in from somewhere and want to start a completely new project, I think maybe we should look at it and wait. Mr. Sexton points out you can't show favoritism, and Doherty ends up making a motion that we approve applications under Section 14.6, and then we also review the draft LDRs for additional changes to go back to the Regional Planning Council. Get this off your shoulders until this company is farther along than this. Send them back to the DEP first. Produce the mystery current permit that none of us have ever been able to see that they're supposedly operating under already. And stop trying to slide this new plan in before you update our LDRs. We want all of you to start playing it straight and fair and quit twisting the rules to suit your desired outcome. We deserve better than that from you. Thank you. I'm giving you here a copy of the letter that was sent today from the Center for Biodiversity about this hearing. I don't have for everyone, the chairman and the clerk. Thank you. Danny Wolf.